Hello everyone and welcome back to Successful Living. In today's video, I want to give you my top tips about how to get more done in shorter periods of time. So let's get started. I know that everybody is busy. I posted something on Instagram the other day talking about how I hate saying that I'm busy, but I am busy. I have seven businesses. So I know that I'm busy, but there is a certain thing that we can do about being busy. We can use our time better. We can remove distractions. Today, I want to tell you about those things that I do so that as a serial entrepreneur, I use my time in the best possible way to get more things done in really little periods of time. I'm mainly making this video for entrepreneurs, serial entrepreneurs, and people with a side hustle, but if you're generally a busy person, this is also for you. And by the end of this video, you will have concrete examples of actions that you can take to get more done. Okay, let's start. Number one is efficiency means less distractions. I know that it's very generic to say that you should remove all the distractions around you to be able to be productive. And you know, when you really concentrate on something, when you get deep into something, you generally create better, you generally work better and faster. Of course, that's the case. But now I'm going to give you something a little bit more concrete about distractions. I think there are two main distractions. One is your phone and one is your computer. Those notifications are everywhere and I think, I think we should do something about them. So we made a video with Amina from I'm in a Place and she gave us amazing tips. I just want to thank her again here and I want to repeat what she said to me when it comes to removing those distractions. This one, when you don't need it, when you're supposed to be doing something, this should be in a drawer. This should be somewhere where you can't reach in 10 seconds. There has to be a barrier to reach your phone if you really don't need it. The same thing goes with the computer. If you're working on your computer, you can create another user so that that user is dedicated just for working and everything else is banned. You can use a lot of programs for this, but just make a user for your work things and make a user for your personal and you know fun time things so you know that there's not gonna be any Facebook notifications or Instagram notifications popping everywhere on your screen making it impossible for you to, you know, concentrate. I just want to say this, you don't have to be and you shouldn't be responsive at all times. I think that's the biggest productivity killer, the, the need to respond constantly and immediately. Like when you get an email, when you get a WhatsApp message, when you get an Instagram DM, you don't have to reply to those things immediately. You can actually batch these things. We will talk about that later. You can actually batch these things and get them done in a shorter period of time, in a shorter amount of time, so that you can do something else instead of getting out of what you were doing, answer back an email, come back to what you were doing. You get the gist of it. Number two, to get more done, planning. You have to plan, that's it. Like if you have a life, you have to plan it, that's it. There are a couple of videos I made about planning, but after watching this, if you wanna see them, go see them. If you wanna watch other people's videos, go watch them to start planning today. Because if you put enough effort and time into the planning, you will actually get things done faster because you already thought about it, you already made plans about how you can conduct them so you don't have to get into this I don't know what to do, I don't know how to do it, I don't know, you know, what I need to do it. You already told about these things so that you don't lose time being unorganized before you get started doing something. Spend time on this. Spend time on planning now so you don't waste any time later on because you are not organized. Number three is batching. I think I did a video about this before, I'll link it here and there. Batching is super important. Batching essentially is to get similar tasks together to do them in one flow. For example, if you're a blogger, then you probably write for your blog, but you probably also write some captions for your Instagram account. Instead of going on Instagram every time you want to post and trying to come up with something to you know, write as a caption, you can just write your blog post and all of your Instagram captions for that week or for that month in one go because you're already in the flow of writing and you don't have to you know, think about writing every day. You can just sit once, get everything similar to writing at once and never have to think about it until next week or next month, depending on your life. This is what I do religiously. Again, there's a video about this. Just go watch that. 
Number four is using the net time. I think this is from Tony Robbins, but it's basically multitasking. It's basically multitasking in a way where you don't lose concentration on the main tasks. For instance, you can actually listen to a book while you're doing your makeup, or you can actually, you know, listen to a podcast when you're driving somewhere. Basically, pairing up two things at a time, one requiring some concentration and one not at all, so that you can actually get two things at a time without compromising the quality of the things, if that makes sense. So try to pair two things together as much as possible, one needing a certain level of concentration and one needing no concentration whatsoever. Number five, define your processes. Basically, if you have a job, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a student, Write down all your processes, if it's maybe, let's say, it's creating a product, maybe it's making a website, maybe it's preparing a presentation, whatever your processes are, make a list of those things and then divide them into actionable steps so that if you're not there to make them, somebody else can do it. But also, you write down next to each and every step how much time they will take and you know exactly how much time you need to you know, dedicate for each and every of these actions. That will make you understand how much time you need per thing in your life. And the thing is, you're probably using way more time than that right now because you don't know how much time exactly do you need to, you know, allocate to this one task. If you write them all down, and if you say this will take me a half an hour, then you calendar block that half an hour, not an hour, not 45 minutes, but half an hour, so you can actually you know, squeeze in other things in that day and maybe you will do more in a shorter time. Number six is my final tip and that is to set a timer. When you're starting a new thing, when you're starting a new task, just set a timer on your phone and basically race with yourself. Basically, you're trying to finish the task in hand before the alarm goes off. This is this is similar to having a panic monster, right? This is similar to having a deadline or similar to having an exam tomorrow. When you have this urgency feeling, it makes you work harder and better and faster. You can always do that, even though there's no deadline, even though there's no panic monster, you can still create a little panic monster here on your smartphone. Just set an alarm for one hour and you see it all the time that you need to get it done. You need to get it done before the alarm starts ringing. I think that I think that's the one thing that saved me the most time. And if you watched this until now, here's a bonus tip for you. Meal planning. Meal planning will save you so much time. And I mean both types of meal planning. So you can actually, you know, make all the meals, cook them all on one go, maybe on a Sunday, spend three, four hours on it and just make the food for the whole week. You can freeze some and you can leave some in the fridge and that will be perfect for your busy days or you can actually plan what you want to do, which will save you the time that you're currently probably wasting by thinking about what to eat and what to make for dinner. So either way of meal planning will save you so much time. You'll thank me later. And here is the challenge for you. I want you to think about similar things to meal planning, the time that you can actually take from your personal life, the things that you do every day but they don't bring any value to your life, except surviving of course, but that you can actually take time from and allocate that time into your business or into your work or into your self-development. I challenge you to think about those things and leave them as a comment down below because I think these type of things should be shared with the world. Don't keep it to yourself, be a nice one, be a nice girl, be a nice boy and share it down in the comments below. So these were my tips for getting more done in a shorter period of time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it valuable. All the information that you need, all of my what to watch next and what to do next are in the description and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!